Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Ali A. Thank you for tuning in for episode 4 of Ali A's Quest, my brand new Minecraft survival series where we are going on an awesome quest to try and do as much awesome things as possible, have a load of fun and basically just have a great time. You guys have been showing the new series a load of support, thank you so much. Can't appreciate it enough. If you've missed any episodes, there's a playlist down below in the description, and that playlist will contain all Ali A Quest videos. So feel free to check that out if you've missed any of them or just want to see any future ones once they've been made. I'm currently standing within my awesome cow farm, but I probably shouldn't be standing in here swinging around my sword with all of these cows around. I'm sorry, guys, I'll leave now. Now, if you didn't miss last episode, we actually ventured out and quested into. If it loads in just over there, there you go, just in the distance, um, to one of the new dungeons that's available within Alia's quest, and we got a ton of awesome stuff from there. We did actually die a few times towards the end of the episode, which was pretty scary. I have rearranged just the inside of my room a little bit. I just made one more chest and just made the chest a little bit more organized, like I said I would. Then it's just a lot easier when we open up the chest knowing where everything is and being able to find stuff, which I think is a smart idea and hopefully should help, help us out quite a lot. Which is awesome. Now this episode, because of how badly the end of last episode went just with all the mobs coming out killing us, I think what I want to do is maybe make a second layered gate area around here as like a sort of defense. Now, I know that like a few of the mobs can still float around and I don't want them to come and kill us, but I think that's probably the best thing to do for the moment is to make like a little bit of a gated area that's a little bit bigger just so we can be a little bit freer. Uh, I also go back to the kingdom and just check up on the guys and see how much of the progress bar we've done. Because uh, maybe we've done quite a bit from killing some mobs, who knows. Um, and then on top of that, I also want to start a mini, mini mine within our house. So we can actually mine within our house without the worry of going out in the darkness. Because it is scary, my friend. It really is scary. So, to start off, you know what? I think... I think I'm going to do it. So, I think I'm going to make myself... An iron chest plate because of just how deadly all of the enemies are at the moment within my world. So that give me a lot more defense points, which means I should hold up a lot better against um, the enemies, which is exactly what we want. And I don't think that's a bad thing at all. <laughs> I would rather not die against the enemies. I'm also going to grab some bone meal so we can go out and hopefully get ourselves some more wheat. So then we can start getting ourselves even more cows, baby. This is like the start of a beautiful farm. Can that grow anymore? No. Can that grow anymore? No. Can you grow anymore? No. Oh, baby, we've got quite a lot. We've got quite a lot going on over here. Okay. Give me your beautiful wheat, please. Thank you very much. We also, last episode, got some really cool animals. We got ourselves a raccoon. We got ourselves several more bunnies. Ricky the raccoon. <laughs> uh, who else did we get? We got Billy the bunny as well. I think... I, we, I think we got three bunnies in total now. I forget the other one's name. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bunny. I'm disloyal to you. <laughs> um, but yeah, the amount of animals you can get is absolutely awesome. We ended up getting the raccoon by actually feeding it a cooked rat. <laughs> so yeah, that happened. Uh, actually, the, only those two can make a baby cow, I think. Uh, you know what? We'll save this for and we'll use it once we're, once we're back. So I need to be very wary of the fact that nighttime is not good at all. We've learnt that now, and we should definitely be careful. I think what I'm going to do, the sun is probably just coming up to halfway. So I think what we're going to do is venture over to the uh, beautiful kingdom and uh, go and pay those guys a visit and uh, see how we're doing in terms of our progress towards being able to get our own awesome kingdom. Now, one thing I see in the comment section, I do read the comment section, I do read what you say, is the fact that you guys don't like or aren't massively keen on the texture pack. I honestly really like it. I start, I guess maybe I started off Alia's Adventure with a similar texture pack. Um, oh, this could be quite cool actually. Let's get ourselves some, let's get ourselves some of this baby. Yeah, boy. I'm gonna get all three of them, why not? Uh, I guess I started off Alia's Adventure with a similar sort of dark texture pack and ended up changing it after 10 episodes. But I really do like this one. I think it really fits um, the, the the sort of the um, vibe of this this whole sort of pack. The whole sort of adventuring part of it. I realize there's a load of water there. Has that always been there? <laughs> Must have been. Um, the whole sort of like medieval villager side of things. If you guys really, really don't like it, I'll try and look for a better one for you guys, but I honestly think it's quite cool. Now, let's see what this guy says. 
Okay, so we've still got to try and find some villagers and bring them back. Can we get a free piece of bread, please? Yeah, buddy. Okay, sweet. Thank you. Actually, it's quite useful. My hunger bars actually dropped a little bit. What is that, dude? Chicken? Okay, he got out. He got out. Now, I'm wondering... Can I get some? Hey! Hey, baby. Okay, this is awesome. So, I'm actually going to be a little bit sneaky and just steal some of the stuff that's here. I think that's a melon that's grown now already. <laughs> I'm being sneaky. Free stuff, free stuff. All of you guys pointed out that those guys are like assassins from Assassin's Creed. And I'm like, you're right. Of course they're assassins. You guys knew better than me. <laughs> you know these guys are assassins, but you guys weren't scared of them. Now, um, we can go up to this dude. We do actually have 800 gold. So I think if we talk to him, we may be able to buy something. Let's see how much everything costs. Okay, we can actually get ourselves some pretty cool stuff. Bow's quite expensive. Arrows aren't very expensive. Diamond shovel. I can get myself a diamond shovel. I don't think, um, that's weird. Okay. I can get myself a diamond shovel, but I feel that that's, actually, I can't. I'm not quite there. I don't think I want to buy anything diamond. I feel I'd be a little bit cheating, but I will bet get, I think, with some of the money that I've gotten is, um, an iron shovel and an iron sword. So I spent a little bit of my money. Actually, I spent quite a lot of money there, but... It now means I've got a really good working shovel, because my other one, as you can see, is almost broken, and all some other iron swords almost broken. So thank you, good sir. You've been very, very useful. Um, we're going to leave that monument over there. I Let's check the sun, let's check the sun, let's check the sun. Okay, not too bad. Should definitely have time to go and check out the king of this kingdom, see how he's getting along, how he's doing. You're not worthy. <laughs> please, please, sir. I think I am worthy. I'm Allie, eh? Can I please be worthy? He's like, nope. We don't accept you, Allie. I'm like, I'm sorry. I thought I was a chosen one. <laughs> okay, now. I always forget how to get to the king. Ah, oh, here we go. We've got to go upstairs. Another another route, mate. Another route. Now, this worthy bar, once filled, will be a, will allow us to actually make our own kingdom. But I'm pretty sure it's going to take a long, long time. So let's see what he says. Yeah, as you can see, our worthy bar is very, very low, unfortunately. Hiring costs 1,500 gold. That's actually a lot. Fixing the guild costs 64 wood. None of that we actually have at the moment. So at least we now know how far into the worthy process we are. If we do actually bring back some villagers and find some villagers on our mission um, and take them back to that dude that was like, we need to find the villagers. That does actually really help your worthiness, boss. That is something we can definitely do. Um, if we find them out and about, then that's 100% going to be worthy to bring them back again. Now, where's the sun? Okay. Kind of want to explore a little bit, but I think our priority, especially since it's coming up to night time, is to really get that sort of like surrounding area of our house fixed so that we can protect ourselves from the crazy evil stuff that appears at night time. Um, and then we can go and start a mining mission directly underneath our house, which should be really, really cool. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I think that's a goat. So what's a, what's a, G, what's the name that begins with G? G and the goat? Wait, what? Gr Grant the goat. <laughs> hey, he better be a goat. <laughs> he better be a goat. Do you want some of this stuff? No? Okay, goat. Okay. The thing, I don't think they actually, I think if I get a lead, I can, I can just take them back and like, make them my own and then start my own farm. That's something we'll have to do once once I get like a lead and stuff. At the moment, I'm nowhere near close to getting a lead. I think I can just name them. And then if I'm near to them, like I know it's it's one I found in the past just because like a name pops up. But I don't think like they actually listen to you or anything. <laughs> they don't obey my commands. <laughs> but it's pretty cool that you can get so many freaking awesome animals. We haven't seen any of the uh, water animals yet either. So like we're only at the start, mate. We are only at the start. All of that, uh, all of that stuff we picked up is actually really, really useful. So it's getting to night time. This is where the bad stuff happens, my friend. This is where the bad stuff happens. But, uh, what shall I do? I'm going to organize this. I'm going to plop back some of that. I'm going to put that there. I think it's just like randoms on the bottom and more sort of food-related items here. Uh, we've got some more food there. Got some of that there. And all of that stuff can go along the top as well. Also, I meant to mention, I apologize for not mentioning it earlier. There is now live... Uh, the mod pack launcher 
No, what? I just made tra 12 trapdoors. <laughs> Ali A. Ali A. Oh my gosh. Luckily, we've got some more left in here. So I'm going to turn some of this into wood. And then we can actually <laughs> get ourselves some wood. I saw the trapdoors. And you know how sometimes like, it updates what's actually on your screen? I just assumed it was going to update. So I'm going to go to sleep. As soon as it's nighttime, I'm going to go to sleep. So the launcher for the Ali A mod pack is now live. I, I will link it in the description. But because the guy I was talking to... Um, is Spanish <laughs> the video and launcher are in Spanish now I'm gonna have to talk to him again and see if maybe he can change it into English I'm not sure if he'll be able to change the launcher into English But I think he may be able to give clearer instructions within English But I'll link you to the video nonetheless if any of you guys happen to speak um, Spanish as well as English You are a hero and if you're able to help people out in the comment section, that'd be amazing and really, really useful. Just so that nobody does the wrong thing. But if you go into that video, there'll be a download link in the description. If you've got Windows, make sure you're downloading the Windows one. If you've got Mac, make sure you're downloading the Mac one. And then you can open up that file. If you have like the Ali A logo as a file. And once you open up that file, then be able to launch Minecraft directly from that launcher. And you'll be able to play with all of my mods. You can actually choose which mod you want to get rid of or which mod, what mod you want to keep as well. So it's up to you guys to sort of select and play around yourselves. And of course, start your own YouTube series as well if you're interested in that kind of thing. Feel free to go do so. You can call it your own quest series, which is pretty damn cool. Now, I'm going to get rid of one more line here. Just because otherwise the gate's going to get stuck to it. Also, mobs may be able to fall down, which is not what we want. My Minecraft keeps them freezing, man. I think of all the mods, mate. All the mods are just too powerful. <laughs> so I'm going to extend a little bit here. Eventually, we'll probably go all the way up to the little farm area, but I don't think I have quite enough at the moment to be able to do that. Um, should we go out? Mm, should we go out that way or should we not go out that, that way? I think for the moment, I'm not. I don't want to go too big too soon. I want to make sure that we're not sort of biting off too much that we can that we can't actually handle how much awesome stuff we're doing. We don't want to don't want to over, overdo things. You know what I think should I keep it in the middle? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna keep it in the middle-ish, which is probably I'm gonna go there. Alright, sweet. So we've got a little bit of a bigger land now, which is far more useful. And now means that we can hopefully <laughs> hopefully be a little bit safer in the night time. So I'm gonna drop off that. And drop off of that and make myself a beautiful gate. Thank you. Beautiful. Two gates for me. One gate for you. <laughs> you guys can take one of my gates as well. Now, there are those fire-breathing things. I'm just hoping that those fire-breathing things can't destroy us and kill us. Um. Okay, sweet. We're making a good progress, my friends, which is awesome. I think... You know what? These cows may have grown up, so let's let's give it to them. Yeah, baby. Here we go, guys. Time for you to all nom 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 nom. You're getting bigger. You're getting fatter. You're getting ripe for the picking. <laughs> I feel evil saying stuff like that. Okay. What I will do, I reckon, is actually apply the probably more broken sword like that. So I can access that if I get into a real tough situation. But I can access a new sword at any time I wish as well. So... Whew, things are coming along well, guys. We're only four episodes in. We are doing a good job. Hopefully, you guys are having a lot of fun. As I said, I really appreciate all of the support. Now, what did I want to do? Okay, so what I do want to do, I believe there is um, sand this way. I want to grab myself some sand. Now, last episode, I ran into a random man, like a sort of homeless, sort of weird person. I actually ran into them a few times. Oh, no. <laughs> it's a bear. What the heck? Jeez, these guys are actually scary. And the sound they make is just realistic and scary, man. I ran into like a homeless man. I was like, what the heck is this? Uh, you guys let me know that he, he is actually uh, a, a werewolf, believe it or not. So during the day... He's a man, like a like a homeless man. It's a bit like Wolverine, I guess. It was, actually, it's nothing like Wolverine. Ignore that. <laughs> it's nothing like Wolverine. It's a bit like just like a standard werewolf where the person changes it like sort of like when the moon comes out. Except in this situation, it's every night time he'll change into a werewolf. So if I see those guys, I, I should actually kill them. So the fact that that person died in the fire last time, it's actually not a problem. It's actually a good thing, if anything, which is good to know. I was worried that maybe I'd done a bad thing. So... Got myself a little bit of sand. The reason I grab myself some sand is just so I can make some glass. So I can actually fill in. What's that over there? I think... I want, I want to say it's just all the sand that's compressed on... No. 
Ah, it's a freaking elephant. Oh my gosh. Dude, elephant, you are going to be mine. I have no idea how to tame it. A fish, maybe. What, what, okay, what did banana, what do elephants like? I, I said bananas before I even said what I want to say. I think elephants may like bananas. Dude, look how many sick stuff was over here. Okay. Oh, 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 it's actually quite useful. Gonna grab myself some of this, actually. Thank you very much. Hey, more iron, baby. We've got a load of iron already, which is absolutely awesome. I'm not gonna complain at all. Dude, an elephant. I told you guys there's so many more animals we haven't even experienced yet. Haven't even had a chance to see, which is just absolutely awesome. Oh, can you go down that way? Okay. Should I note it down as another cave system? Uh, we can go in and have a little bit of a look. If it doesn't look... No, 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 no. See, that's why if I'd noted it down as a cave system, it would have been mad anticlimactic if I'd actually gone in there and it's been like nothing. So, I think... Where was he? Was he over here? I think he was over here. Hope I haven't gone too far in the wrong direction. I don't think I have. Oh, can't. Okay. Fine. This is how you want to do it. I will mine you out, Sand. Until I'm up here. Where's the elephant? Elephant? <gasps> elephant! <laughs> Come here, elephant. Wait, what's that? Ostriches. Ostriches. Snakes? Nah, snakes are bad, man. More elephants! <gasps> oh. Elephants, how do I control it? Wait, what? Okay, what? It's a freaking tree, man! <laughs> what is it doing? <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, so, this could go really bad. Like, you do not want to enrage elephants. Maybe if I give them a trap door. <laughs> do you want a trap door, elephant? Oh, gosh. Here, I come with a gift. For you. A trap door. Can I ride you? Can I make you my own? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, he's headbutting me, but not doing any damage, which is good. Fine, I'll take my present back. Oh. Oh, let's get, let's get a selfie with him. <laughs> but first, let me get a selfie. Hey. I'm Ali A. I've got myself a pet elephant. <laughs> All right, so another sick animal, mate. And that random, like, tree man thing. I don't want to hurt that tree man, dude. I reckon he's cool. I reckon he's a good guy. That's going to load in these black chunks here. Okay, cool. Oh, baby, an elephant. That's so sick. Guys, so if you download the Ali A quest mod pack uh, down below and you get to grips with the mods, then you can always give me some hints and give me some tips as well. I'm just gonna turn on home, just so I know exactly where I'm going back. There we go. Uh, so you guys can actually download it as well and give me some tips and tips and hit hints if you do learn anything. Of course, I'll try. I, I know most of the stuff is in here already, but little things like taming certain animals. Uh, if you guys know that, feel free to let me know. We can try and tame things together. And then, of course, you guys can then tame it ultimately within your playthrough as well, which is sweet. You know what? I think I'm gonna be. Watch this. And sword, baby. Do 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 do. I think I can push him out of the way. I don't know if that really works too well or not. <laughs> I got- wait, what the? Wait, what the? It's a snail! <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. It's a bee. It's a bee! It's a buzzy bee. I don't think I want to antagonize him. I'm sorry bee, I am friendly. <gasps> Whoa, sick dude! You know I was just mentioning that getting slime balls would be really hard. No way! We got a slime ball from the snail. That's that makes perfect sense, and it's absolutely sick. We can we can make um leads already, dudes. We are making huge huge progress. This is absolutely awesome. So 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 so, we are back home. We can put all of that evil stuff away. Evil stuff. We can put away all of the um fighting gear within our mode. I'm going to put this sort of like as a miscellaneous item along the side there. I'm gonna add that back in. Uh, I did want some of that sand, but I guess we can leave that under sort of like uh, block piles along the top there. But where should I put this? I'm going to leave it as sort of like a random item as well. Got some more cobblestone. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, I now need to work out a way of digging down. Uh, I can actually turn that off now, can't I? Thank you. Uh, I need to work out a way of digging down and where I'm going to dig down. I could technically dig down outside. And maybe actually having an entrance to a cave which isn't within my house is dude I can't get over the sky that's why I love the texture pack is the sky dude it's so sick so I think it probably be better to actually have an area outside that we can cool sort of like the mining area I'm thinking of starting it either just like in 
Mm, I'm thinking just like here. Uh, but that will then go over in that direction with that line up of anything. I'm trying to think of like a direction to go. I think that would be a good direction to go. But then again, maybe it would link up with the area over there. Maybe we should just, just, just go in that direction. You know what? Okay, so I want to make like a cool little entrance. So it's not just like something rubbish as well. Okay, okay. So I'm going to start building something. And just see where it takes me. Okay, so I want to start here. This is going to be like a little bit of an entrance to the building area. Uh, okay, I'm going to do this. I've got an idea. Got an idea. Hopefully you guys like it. Oh gosh, it's getting dark. <laughs> Respect the darkness within Minecraft. And this can be like a little bit of an entrance. Actually, you know what? It's kind of like in an obscure position really, isn't it? Maybe we should start it over there. Hmm. It's not too bad. It just kind of feels like it's in a wrong position. Feels like it's out in the open. We'll, we'll get it. You know what? We'll get a good night's nice rest and then we'll come back and work out what we're going to do. We've done a lot of stuff already, which is awesome. Uh, actually, is that stuff cooked? It is indeed. I'm going to grab myself that sand and make myself some glass. Uh, I'm going to put some iron back in there as well. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you very much. It's kind of cool, but. I do just feel like it's kind of... Does it, start, does it link up with it? Okay, it does link up with it. Huh. Maybe... We'll, we'll probably get used to it once I do it. You know what? I've got a better idea. I've got a far better idea. This makes a lot more sense. Makes a lot more sense, dudes. Okay. Rather than just having it out in the open, and it just leading to, like, just being in the middle of the open, just being obnoxious, you know? Just being annoying. Let us make a little bit of space, so... I'm thinking if we get rid of these three here, then we can actually dig, dig away, dig away a little bit. How far out should we go? I think that may be enough. Actually, you know what? One more, one more, one more. We actually dig into the ground, <laughs> since our house is actually on quite a low ground, um, and then start building it up like this. That should be good. Okay, cool. So what I was thinking of here is getting rid of that. I need to go back to the uh, crafting table, good old crafting table, my friend, and make myself some of that. I think that should be enough, actually. And then just top up this like so. Hey, one more, one more. And then it's done. This is gonna be like a little entrance, We've got like a proper entrance. Rather than just having it in the middle of a house, because to be honest, the one that I had in the middle of my house in Ali Ace Adventure, it was cool. It was the start of uh, a lot of fun, but it didn't really make too much sense. So, the only issue is mobs could then use this to fall down and come straight into my house, which is not cool. <laughs> which is not probably the bestest idea in the world. So, uh, I'm going to put one. You know what? I don't even have to link it up. I may do this. Going to result in a little bit more wood, but should then mean that we're in a secure area. Secure prison. <laughs> Nobody can come in. Nobody can come out. And then we can mine freely, my friends. And that is our, that is the utmost importance. Making sure that everyone can mine freely. How's the glass coming along? Pretty well, actually. Pretty well, indeed. Uh, so I need myself some more fences. Not, <laughs> not trap doors, Ali. That's the wrong thing, mate. That is the wrong thing. Nine, I think that's a good number. Uh, so let's also make ourselves some... Some shards. I'm not sure how they look within this texture pack. They may look cool. They may look interesting. Let's have a look. Hey, okay. So it's a little bit more of a blocked look. But it actually acts as a very nice window. Like a proper window. And it also means, actually, that I can get rid of this. Assuming the cows don't get a little bit happy and try and jump out. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't you try anything sneaky weaky. Oh, perfect number. See, I like it. I like this texture pack, man. I like it. I don't want to make you guys upset, though. I don't want to make you guys upset. That's the thing. Okay, so let's go and grab that together. What level you have? Four. Sweet, baby. Okay, so. Took us a little bit of a while, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. So make sure we're as safe as possible. Thank you. Oh, is that a little bit of a different design? Oh, I think it has another block going up here. Let's match the designs, dudes. Let's match the designs. There we go. 
There we go. Okay, cool. So I think that is a nice and secure area. That means you can have a look at it from the top. You can't go straight in unless you're us. I like it. I like it. So then we can come along here with our shovel and start digging down and finding ourselves some awesome, awesome stuff, baby. We can go straight in probably like this. Just start going downwards. And we already need our pickaxe, baby. We already need our pickaxe. So this is where we're going to start going downwards. Um, and this is where, hopefully, we're going to find ourselves a load of awesome stuff. Of course, I need to make sure it's constantly lit. Um, and then also, if I start using if I start using steps to make it really easy, I may have to be careful because I may have to go down one more deeper like this. And then hopefully that will work. Because I know you've got to leave yourself one extra sort of like headroom. Otherwise, <laughs> you hit yourself, you hit your head. And you don't want to hit your head. Let's just give it a little bit of a test. We're doing things properly this time, guys. Absolutely properly. There we go. So hopefully, I can then properly do this. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Not what I wanted. Okay, here we go. I think it works, dudes. Hey! Oh. So we can go in and out, just like perfectness. Okay, so, gotta mark the entrance, dudes. Gotta mark the entrance. There's a sign. I should put a sign there as well, actually. So, all right, every now and then, I'm just gonna have a torch. Okay, sweet. All right, dudes, I think we should just start going down, to be honest. And just see what we can find. Hopefully, we can get ourselves something decent. Eventually, probably not straight away, probably not within the next five minutes, we're going to get ourselves something really, really decent. But definitely, once we get to a lower level, of course, diamonds are closer to level sort of like 12 and 13. So that's what we want to be aiming for as well. So let's keep on going down here. Thank you. Should I get rid of that one as well? Yes, I should. Alright, nice. The cave's begun, guys. We've got ourselves a sick house. Which is not like not amazingly sick, but it's good, you know. It's good. It's getting there for a starting house. We've got ourselves our own mining area as well, which means that we can mine down whenever we want in this area and not worry too much. Will I be able to get out of there if I jump? No, I won't. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> We've run out of stairs, dudes, but it's okay. And hopefully the goal is that this will actually lead us to um, a cave system that we can actually explore and find some new stuff. Now, I, we have got that awesome dungeon that I showed you guys last episode. It's one of the new mods. I'm not sure if the actual cave systems themselves have been changed. They're bigger and better as well. Wouldn't be surprised. I would like it if that was the case because I've seen so many of the other cave structures before <laughs> within Alia's Venture. It'd be nice to see some new cave systems as well. But we've got something an elephant. We need to try and work out how we can tame that, dude. Imagine having a pet elephant, dude. Dude, imagine if you can ride it into, like, battle and, like, take on, uh, like, take on other sort of, like, mobs as well. Ooh, maybe you can... I think you can get elephant armor. I think you can get elephant armor. No jokes, dudes. No jokes. That's how sick it is. All right, let's check what floor we're on. Oh, gosh, I think... Okay, 141. We're actually quite... Quite high up, actually. Not as low as I thought we were, but you know, it's cool. It's cool. It's all about, you know, gentle steps at a time. I think we're going to do a little bit more mining and uh, get down here. We haven't found anything. We haven't even found any coal yet. We haven't even found any coal, but that's good. I didn't want to like mine into an area that we could find normally just by wandering around outside. Um, I wanted to try and go down quite deep so that we can find some new stuff. So I think we're going to... We're going to stop the digging there because we've done quite a lot of digging for the moment. <laughs> quite a lot of digging, mate. I don't want to spend a whole... I don't want to spend an absolute age doing some digging. So we're going to go up to the top here. I'm going to have to place a block down there for the moment just so I can actually get in and out. But we do have some beautiful stairs. Got ourselves a nice little entrance. Got ourselves our nice little cow farm. It's going well. You know what? I think they're hungry for some more, guys. I think they're hungry for some more. I'm going to use up all of this that I've just found. On stairs, just so that we're never short of some stairs. <laughs> never short of some stairs, dudes. Uh, what else can I replace in here? We've got quite a lot of stuff, actually. Uh, where should I put that? I'll put that there for the moment. Put that there for the moment. Grab myself some glass. 
put that there. Another useful block that we've got. Is there anything else? I don't think so. I think we have done pretty well, guys. I'm going to grab myself some wheat and just feed some of the cows because the cows always need feeding. Nah, nah, nah. Have we got one of the cows stuck in the corner again? <laughs> I'm sorry, cow. I'm sorry. Okay, at least there's a way to get it over to him. Go on. Someone be nice to him. Don't leave him alone. Don't leave him alone. Look at him. He's all by himself. Fine. Fine. Leave him alone. <laughs> Don't be nice to the to the cow. It's Billy Bob, mate. He's stuck in the corner again. It's Billy Bob. All right, guys. I think that's going to finish it off for this episode. We're going to pull out our shield and short sword. This, guys, has been another awesome, fun episode. Hopefully, you guys have really enjoyed as well. We went back into the village. Realized how long it's going to take us to fill up that um, worthy bar, but I think we should go on a mission to find some villagers next, maybe, and venture out a little bit and try and bring some of them back to the awesome kingdom. Expanded our house area a little bit, built an awesome underground area. Um, also found an elephant. Another epic, epic uh, episode. If you guys have enjoyed, smash that like button, check out our plays for more, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.